we are back in London and uh, continuing on the sort of uh, light-hearted surface level vlogs getting some photos testing out cameras so this is continuing on my vlogging test with the Canon R5 uh, so I'm doing a lot of tests just you know using it really to get to know the camera to get familiar with it um, because you can't expect to get a perfect picture perfect control color and all sorts of things from the first video you have to use it a lot and whilst we're out and about shooting and I want to be taking some photos I'm using a camera that I am very familiar with and likewise you guys are too this of course is my Fujifilm X100F and yeah we're just gonna get some photos around uh, we're in the sort of bank city of London area we purposely chose to come to this area because it is very quiet anyway um, COVID has kind of made the area super quiet but on the weekend it's usually even quieter so the two combined makes for a very quiet scenario it's quiet it's quiet <laughs> <laughs> and i'm out with ellie shooting on the xe3 none other than the 35 well yeah which i never leave it's getting a bit battered is it yeah also i don't remember putting this centered on did you yeah guess? i might have done that <laughs> I was like, I don't remember them putting this on. Well, I quite like those hoods though, because they sort of, um, I think they look cool and they stop the light coming in sideways. But they, you know, aerodynamic and they're metal, not plastic. Yeah, I like the feel of them. But it just bulges out even more, you know, I like mine very compact. So I can stuff it in my bag. It's helpful having it quieter because I'm having to remember how to take photos. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think your timing is off? Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm not very fast. I'm feeling like I'm feeling very slow. Um, and yeah. <laughs> a funny thing as well, and I guess a sign of how long it's been for one since I've properly been out taking photos, but also with my X100F, um, everything had reset. I turned it on and it asked me for the date and time and I just knew immediately that I've lost all my settings. So I'm going to have to uh, reconfigure it and do things like my auto ISOs and all those things. Uh, I even had the beep on. Who wants the beep? You don't want that. Um, so yeah, got to uh, set this up like it's brand new, but of course it's not. This is uh, three and a bit years old now and still going strong. Behind us here is the Bank of England, and that's where this name comes from for the area, Bank. Um, it's obviously a very grand structure, but my God, is it so difficult to get a shot of around here because not one of these roads is angled in any sort of direction that makes sense. Um, it's all slightly off and just not really, well, you know, it's old. So it's, uh, it's kind of all over the place. And then we've got these poles in the way so it's really difficult but I feel like there is a shot to be had here I just can't find it but the, look at the way the light is just glowing on the front of the building it just really highlights the stone um, but I just can't find a, a shot here it's it's kind of difficult so it is nice to be out shooting with the X100F again um, now of course since this camera there's been the X100V uh, I got a first hands-on look at it for about an evening <laughs> earlier this year uh, which I did make a video on and my intention was that I was going to buy it at some point but then of course Covid hit and um, I wasn't really into to buying cameras but it is still kind of on my mind that I'm I'm contemplating buying the X100V or maybe even the X Pro 3 something like that because uh, I do enjoy the rangefinder form factor uh, of these Fuji cameras but yeah, unfortunately, I've still never shot with the X100V, um, so I don't really have any thoughts on it other than those first thoughts that I put out on uh, the actual build quality and usability. Um, it's just not a priority of purchase right now. It seems like a great camera. I think the weather sealing is probably the, the biggest thing that I would really enjoy. Obviously, today we're nice and dry and it's, it's not a problem, but if it was to rain or anything, I would be putting this away. So, um, 
I think weather sealing and maybe the speed of the processor is, is the one thing that I'd be enjoying in an upgrade if I were to upgrade. But otherwise, this is still going strong. Still love this camera. One of my favorite reasons to come out and shoot around this area, not only is it quiet, but it's all the stonework. This is just filled with historical buildings. Some of these maybe even a few hundred years old. Um, so of course I'm editing my photos with my Urban Stone collection. Uh, they are designed purely for buildings and locations like this. It really brings out the detail in the stonework. And I'm looking to work on a second volume of those, by the way. Um, I just want to travel to more areas uh, of stone-based locations and uh, work on some new styles um, with those. But if you are enjoying the style of these images, you can grab my presets in the description. And uh, yeah, this is definitely an urban stone location. I mean, to be fair, most of the UK is an urban stone location. Um, it's just these grand sort of structures uh, I'm really drawn to. Also, what's interesting, when you come to an area like this, most of these buildings are maybe five, six stories on average at height. And then there's a lot in the Liverpool Street area that's really tall, like 40, 50 stories high. And um, it creates all these harsh contrasts and shadows. At the moment, it's looking quite flat, but as the clouds move, you get areas where it just really glows that stonework. Um, it's really quite captivating. I, uh, I enjoy it a lot. I promise you it's quiet around here. <laughs> having seen your images, because of course you're using the 35mm. I am missing my 35mm F2 a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. And I think it, it's thoughts like that that steer me towards thinking if I was to get another camera of this form factor or this sort of style, maybe it is the X-Pro that I'd be looking for. Uh, I know it's bigger, but I don't know. You can never win, can you? <laughs> I'm enjoying it though. I'm not gonna, not gonna detract away from it. I, I'm liking being out with my Fuji again. Out with the Fuji, Fuji. The the lighting here is really great, and you've just got a few pictures of me that I'm really happy with. Mm. Um, it's very rare that we ever get pictures of each other. Yeah. In fact, it's more likely that you get pictures of me because I'm terrible at taking pictures of you. But <laughs> do you want to just say it again? What you just said to me. I was like, oh, it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Do you hear that? I got a picture of Ellie that is not bad. I approve. It's weird because the backlighting, usually, I would say backlighting is more difficult for portraits and people. Because um, it just, well, as it probably looks right now, your face is dark. But it's coming out with this sort of angelic look. It's quite cool. I like it. Yeah, it's like a, there's like a soft box. <laughs> it, it's wrapping. I guess maybe it's the, the reflection off the side of the buildings. Maybe. Yeah. It's cool. Did you see where we go? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Burrows that way. You can go Burrow. Okay. Food? If you're not familiar with the geography of London, we've come south of the river to uh, London Bridge, Borough Market area. We didn't really have a plan, but you spotted out Bow. Which... Yeah, well, I have many restaurants starred on my Google Maps, and if we're in the area, I'd like to go to one of them. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. And it's fantastic. <laughs> 
<laughs> How long have you been thinking of that? <laughs> Pretty tasty. Um, expensive compared to Asia, but you Got know. Got a slice of Asia though. We, we can't travel, so we put the cost into the food. It's a poor justification for it, but whatever. <laughs> so the sun is setting, but don't really have an agenda as such to, to capture the sunset or, or whatever, but uh, it's just a nice sort of soft lighting and just seeing some of these bridges uh, for all the rail networks that are going into London Bridge and into Charing Cross and other places. Yeah, it's just good to take it simple and just get out, enjoy, take images. Uh, I hope this inspires other people to go out and take images as well. That's the reason that I want to share these experiences on the channel. So high contrast, yeah, I've definitely been playing with the uh, exposure comp quite a bit. Actually been raising it up, just letting the sky blow out. Yeah, that light has actually changed quite a bit. Yeah. In about one minute, two minutes. You really do have to embrace the bright aspect to it and just know that some of it's going to get lost and you can't get a perfect all round exposure. But that's kind of the charm of it. Mm -hmm. Like just letting that light bleed over. Yeah. I do actually want to get a photo with that though because I want the zoom. <laughs> Do you know what's kind of funny is whenever we're out shooting, shootings? <laughs> whenever we're out shooting, Ellie always takes responsibility of grabbing the thumbnail. And uh, lately, I've just been struggling to have life in my eyes. I don't know what it is, but I just, I can't, I can't get my eyes open wide enough. Um, so I'm just gonna throw them on the screen because I think they're kind of funny. <laughs> I'm just a bit dead. <laughs> that was the photo. <laughs> With these vlogs, as I mentioned at the start and uh, mentioned previously in my Brecon Beacons one, is I just want to do some light-hearted, easy, going about shooting, hopefully inspire people to go out and take photos as well. But one of the main reasons, and I wish I'd mentioned it more in my Brecon Beacons vlog, is I want to be testing this R5 and I want to get to know the picture better and get to know the camera better. Um, so with that, I would say don't judge this picture or the quality of it on this video alone. I'm gonna be getting used to it and getting to know it better. If you think back to my GH5, when I first got that, <laughs> the videos that came out when I first bought that and the colors that I got, I'd really struggled with it for a long time. I found this easier, um, but there are a few things and a few details that didn't come out as pleasing and because I'm just making these as lighthearted vlogs, I'm not gonna be going too stressful on it. Um, however, one of the sort of recurring comments that I saw in the Wales vlog um, it was about some of the contrast detail and I went and explored further on my grading and I found that because I was using uh, C-Log to shoot in 10-bit you have to shoot C-Log on the R5 I was using the official Canon conversion LUT before I did my own color correction and on export when I saw it in detail and after I published it I realized that that official Canon LUT doesn't really give the most pleasing look to it um, so I don't know if you guys have got experience on that but I've personally just decided to ditch that uh, and just do my own uh, color correction on there before, yeah, pretty much just not using the conversion light. I, I didn't find that to be useful at all. That being said, I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the picture on here thus far as I've uh, experimented more with it and I'm gonna be going out and shooting more. I've definitely enjoyed being out on my Fuji again. 
um, and also to continue the narrative for the channel because a lot of people worry that since I bought the R5 I'm not going to be using my Fujis. I am. I still love my Fujis. I'm still focusing on that for my photography. But uh, yeah, this has been a fun little evening around London. Uh, again, some of my favourite areas in London and uh, nice and quiet. And so I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, check out some of the links in the description and um, I will catch you in a future video real soon. All right, see you later. Bye bye. No, there's too many people here. <laughs> Ellie, didn't, I didn't realise there were so many people. There's a bit of an audience. Completely didn't realise there was a whole audience of people behind me. <laughs> what are they doing? I don't know, they're listening. Following. Why, why are they. Why are they following? What are they doing? Why are they following us? What are they doing?